Hey everyone, Extremia with our daily crypto news. What's been happening in the market and what is interesting? Since Elon Musk tweet a few weeks ago about miners using too much energy, the mining industry of Bitcoin has been in the news non-stop and yet again today. Chinese miners block mainland IP access as Beijing's purge intensifies. Will it be an opportunity to push the prices up or not? China's struggle with Bitcoin miners appears set to rumble on as two Chinese players move to restrict access from mainland Chinese IP addresses and one of the biggest mining hotspots in the country make ominous statements about mining shutdowns. Bidir, a mining group established by the Bitmain co-founder Jian Wu earlier this year, posted a notice on its website claiming that as of this evening, China time, it will block all access to users with mainland Chinese IP addresses. As per Jimin's, Marsh Cloud Mine is also enacting a block on mainland IPs, claiming that it is paying attention to developments and relevant policies and was attempting to ensure the continuous operation of the platform. But their own statement was almost identically worded in parts, with references to actively cooperating with regulatory settlement and acting in order to ensure the compliance of the wider mining industry, the firm wrote. Bidir will block all IPs from mainland China to further ensure that the platform does not provide service to residents on the mainland. Now what will it do to the current mining and Bitcoin price? We're observing a systematic paradigm shift from the retail whale to the institutional whale. The difference between the two is not the current hash rate holding, because both could have big hash rates under management, but the ability to age and manage financial risk and the access arbitrage, rip supply, cost of electric power and farms information edge and regulation. Will we see a move in the markets? Will it push the prices up or will we see another dump? Regardless, there can be little doubt that China is now gunning for crypto miners. If not because of its disdain for crypto per SE, but out of fear that it's too far behind on its goal of reaching carbon neutrality by 2016. As previously reported, Beijing has been leaning on some of its most highly coal power dependent regions to slash their carbon emission with a large spike in anti-mining virotic in recent state-run news releases. Some will claim the writing has been on the wall for some time. Heartbeats of mining operations like the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region were told to fall into line with carbon emission targets earlier this year. And one of these has now responded with a draft proposal from its Inner Mongolian Autonomous Region, comprising eight measures that would severely limit the options of most large-scale miners in the region. Republished by NBD, the proposal includes criminal prosecution for energy providers who fail to declare they are providing power to mining firms and the removal of special legal status from crypto miners posing as big data centers. Interestingly, the draft measures, authority by the policy making IMAR, also contain a proposal to shut down internet cafes and PC gaming rooms that have repurposed themselves as smaller mining centres, a practice that has become increasingly popular in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. The anti-mining Ferotic 
has continued in recent days, with one general report carrying claims that the market volatility is likely to ramp up power consumption yet further in China. However, there are suggestions that Beijing's efforts to rein in its power consumption to meet carbon targets are causing disruption in China. Per Zingong's, Lingwang's publication, some cities have decided to cut power to streetlights and public LCD screens displays in a bid to slash power consumption, while job losses are possible elsewhere in the nation. What kind of effect will shutting down the miners in China have on the rest of the world, not just in the power consumption, but in the crypto market as well? What's your thoughts on this? Hit the like button and let me know what you're thinking. But there's even more mining news. Bitcoin raises above 40k as Mining Council plans to address environment concerns. Bitcoin's recovery rally looks to be gathering steam, but the 200-day SMA hurdle is still intact. Bitcoin's recovery gathering steam on Wednesday with prices topping $40,000 to hit the highest level in nearly a week. And are we glad we're above the 40000 But the main thing is, will it halt this price? The leading cryptocurrency by market value rose to 40800 during the early European trading, a level last seen on May 21st. Prices hit lows near the $31,000 on May 23rd and have been rising ever since. At press time, Bitcoin was up 8.82% and trading at $40,272. According to Coinstake's Bitcoin price index, the cryptocurrency is yet to pass through the widely tracked 200-day simple moving average hurdle at 40,639. Now, as the market continue, this price and hurdle will fluctuate. It will go up and down. The main thing is to get a decent candle close above it. Major alternative cryptocurrencies, altcoins, are also gaining ground and flashing relative bigger returns. Names including Matic, Link, and BNB have gained 10 to 14, while Ether, Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency, is trading 6% higher. Altcoins suffered sharp losses last week as Bitcoin crashed. Ether fell by over 40%, registering the, its biggest weekly decline on record. The latest uptick in Bitcoin and other coins comes on the heels of Bitcoin Mining Council's plans to address concerns regarding the negative environmental impact of the cryptocurrency mining. Yes, they say it's a negative impact. But according to my research, the banking system and even gold mining is consuming more electricity than crypto mining. So, are they going to stop the banking system or scale down on gold mining? I doubt it. Bitcoin price rebounds to 40k, Ethereum near 3k, and a bigger crypto rally looming. Bitcoin has surged past $40,000 and the cryptocurrency market is rapidly recovering. The price of Bitcoin has surpassed 40000 on Wednesday, breaking above a key sell area for the first time in five days. Traders expect a broader rally to come and a bullish market structure to form if Bitcoin continues to rise above $42,000 and Ethereum reclaims the $3,000 mark. $42,000 and $49,000 are key resistant levels. Bitcoin has been recovering over the past week due to three major factors. First, Tesla CEO Elon Musk and MicroStrategy CEO Michael Slayer have been encouraging Bitcoin miners to use cleaner energy. Musk and Slayer have gone further since, speaking with Bitcoin miners in the United States about reliable energy consumption. 
Will Tesla bring an option to the mining industry? What's next? What is the plan behind the plan? Second, the Bitcoin futures market has reset to a large extent, according to data from Bybit.com. When BTC crashed to below $30,000, the future market opened interest dropped from $27 billion to $11 billion. This means that the futures market is not overcrowded, which raised the probability of a more sustainable and gradual rally. Third, Ether has been rising rapidly over the past few days, which also benefits Bitcoin and altcoins because ETH saw a deeper correction than Bitcoin. And that's correct. While all the altcoins and even ETH made lower lows, Bitcoin was the only coin that didn't make a lower low after the massive drop. Major cryptocurrencies rebounded and a whole is improving the settlement around the Bitcoin, leading to the gradual recovery of the crypto market. In the near term, traders say that 42,000 is the important short term resistance area, and after that, 49,000 is the macro sell area. A phenomenous trader known as Pentos wrote Many alts coming into some resistance, plus minus a 5%. We've got a mean reversion and discussed during the nuke. However, Bitcoin has been stuck. It started its LH trend and a month ago. Would like to see Bitcoin pop 24, 42k plus and alt likely make their own lower eyes and dip again. The clock is ticking. So what's important to observe? In the foreseeable future, the two key things to observe for Bitcoin traders are exchange outflows and the 42,000 level. Ideally, if the 42,000 level holds and Bitcoin exchange outflows increase in tandem, that would mean that the confidence of investors in Bitcoin and whales at the above 42,000 is rising. There are concerns that a dead cat bounce might form which is in short lasting recovery. But if Bitcoin holds 42,000, the chance of a fake out rally would sustainably decrease. So the news is an upside for Bitcoin, depending on what the miners in China are gonna do. If they switched off, it means they might have a sell off and then prices might increase rapidly, but only due time will tell what's gonna happen. Leave me your thoughts in the description and remember, hit that like button. Have a great one.